Um, but first, can I check your wristbands and verify your name and date of birth? Sure. What's your name? Selena Cruz. Okay, and your date of birth? 7989. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and check your vitals. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Last time. Okay, end of the arm. So as I explained, the doctor has ordered an inhaler for you, and I'm going to teach you how to use that. Mm -hmm. So this is actually, it looks like a little canister, but we call it an actuator. It's just the pump that holds this canister. So first, we want to start by warming the canister up. Okay. And then we're going to insert the canister. And kind of kind of just clips right in, and then we want to shake it. And the purpose of shaking it is to make sure that all the medication gets dispersed evenly and so that you get the best dose possible. Cool. All right, and then we're going to take off this cap, and we want to go ahead and pump it a couple times. So that way if there's any dust or particles that we don't want in there, just cleaning it out before we administer the dose to you. Do you have any questions? Mm -hmm. No. So I've already told you a little bit about the inhaler. Now I want to talk to you about this peak flow meter. What it does is it helps to measure how forcefully you can breathe out. And we're going to use it before your inhaler and then after inhaler and hopefully we'll see some improvement. So how this works is you're going to make a nice tight seal, breathe in, and then you're going to breathe out as hard as you can. And when you think you can't breathe anymore, I want you to keep going, okay? Okay. Do you have any questions before we get started? No. Okay. So, go ahead and form a nice tight seal on the mouthpiece. Breathe in and out. Go! Very good. Thank you. Okay. So, we're just going to set this aside. So, when you're using the inhaler, you want to start by kind of raising your head up into like you're smelling something really good. And then you're going to place two fingers in front of your mouth. And as you start to breathe in, that's when you want to push right here and then continue your breath and hold it for three to five seconds. Okay. Now I know some people you see, they like to place their mouth on the mouthpiece. And we found that actually you get a better dosage when you administer it with the two finger method. So let's go ahead and try it. Okay. So you're going to go ahead and tilt your head up just a little bit. Two fingers. Place the inhaler. Now start to breathe in. Press down. And hold. Great job. Okay, so you did really well with that. Now the doctor has ordered for it to be two puffs, but we want to wait about two to five minutes in between each puff, okay? Okay. So, now that you finished that, we want to go ahead and check to see if there was any improvement. So, do you remember how to use this? Um, yes. Okay. Nice tight seal. Breathe in and out as hard as you can. And it actually, it went up. Great job. Okay, yes. Okay, so now we are all finished with your treatment. Do you have any questions for me before I leave? How often did you say to take it? Well, the doctors ordered it um, every four hours as needed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clean both of these off with an alcohol swab or sterile water, and then we'll put them back at the nurse's station. And in four hours, if you feel that you need it again, then the nurse can come back, or I can come back and we can administer it to you then. Okay. So the last step is just I'm going to remove my gloves, gel my hands again, and then I'm going to go chart. and take your
your vitals. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. I'm just gonna. Can we remove this? Sure. All right. I'm gonna check for 15 seconds. I don't have a watch. <laughs> Monitor and what's a <laughs> now we finish with the therapy. <laughs>